I've got a good video for you today on hanging hardware. So when you order a canvas, they have all these different options. How do you know which one's the best one? So hi, 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 my name's Heather McKay and I've been a professional photographer for 18 years and I've always sold products because I'm a hot, big believer in tangible freaking fracking heirlooms. The things that I offer are canvas prints. I, as you, if you've dug around my channel quite a bit, you know that I love metal prints even more. But with canvas prints, they're lightweight, they're easy, and over time, they're really easy to match uh, for clients' houses. So I'm gonna go over hanging hardware and how to install each one. Very simple, pretty much a no-brainer. All you need is a hammer, uh, a level if you have it, and your canvas. So what I'm gonna go over is just the different kinds of hanging hardware. So the most traditional type of hanging hardware is just a picture frame hanger, just like this. It's very normal. This, this canvas has an actual frame around it, which I don't normally do, uh, but it's, you know, it's a nice treatment. But the problem with these kinds of hangers is that over time, you got, they, get, they get crooked. They're like, they're not level, uh, they're annoying, <laughs> honestly. And then if the hanging string is too um, tight, then it's hard to get it on the hook. Uh, especially with a big canvas, it's hard to get your arm behind there and hook it on the hook. So, I don't like, I don't love these, uh, mostly because it's really annoying when things are not level. Okay, so the second most popular type of hanging hardware for a canvas is a little claw tube. Like that, see that? If you buy a consumer grade canvas, a lot of times they'll come with these. A lot of times they don't even have them installed, which is super annoying. Um, and all you really need is a hammer to make sure it's in there. My problem with the consumer grade canvases is they're usually not even centered which is super annoying. So you wanna make sure they're centered. If you're installing this one yourself, all you do is measure the whole canvas, but I measure to the middle of this hook, and then that's where I put the nail on the wall, then you hang it on the wall. It's nice because it stays a lot more level than the other picture hanger wire. Um, and you can, and there's a little give because there's like five or six different notches. So if you have to move it over a quarter of an inch to be like perfect, uh, then it's nice. So that one's pretty good, it's good with canvas because the canvas is really lightweight, it's easy, you just need one nail on the wall, which is great. Um, and that one's okay for like mid-size, like this is a mid-size canvas to smaller, it's, per it's perfectly fine for those. Um, but I do want to point out really quickly is that with me being professional, I always pay for this closed off canvas back versus this one I just showed you, which is open. It looks more professional and I can stick my sticker on the bottom if I want to, like my contact information. Um, and I usually put these little bump ons on here so they like st sticks it against the wall properly. The other thing I do for all my canvases is I never wrap the photo all the way around the canvas. I always have a black edge all the way around. Two reasons and it's pretty genius. So one reason is that if it gets scuffed over time, like if my client's moving around the house or whatever, or they're moving, you can use a black Sharpie to fill in any scuff marks. Genius. And the other reason is it makes it look a little more modern. So canvas to me is similar to framing, which a little traditional, and it makes it look like it's just floating off the wall. And it looks really, really sharp because it gives it that shadow look. So I am a big fan of doing that black edge for that reason. And then, like I said, I love paying, I, for all my clients, I pay for this finished back because it looks more professional, keeps dust out of the back of it and all of that. Okay, so the last kind of hardware I wanna talk about is a new system. It's very intimidating for most people when they get started, but actually it's the best system because you'll never have to worry about it not being level. It's a little harder to install the first time, but once you know what you're doing, it's easy. So what it is is it's, it's one on each side of the canvas, and it has these little um, grooves where a nail goes and it sits in there, okay? So again, you wanna make sure that they're, they're put on correctly uh, from the photo lab. What they're great for are these giant canvases, okay? It makes, it makes installing a giant canvas a breeze. It is so much easier. Um, so like a big canvas like this, this one is, a 32 by 48, it's a pretty big canvas. So how it works is the canvas comes with these little, what are they called? Well, it has a nail in there, but it also has this little plastic piece, okay? I don't even know what it's called. But what's really cool is you put the little plastic piece on those things, you have a little level on your canvas, and you make a mark under the wall. 
It's pretty cool. So it has a little indention on this guy. And so it's cool. So I, what I've actually found is a little easier because sometimes, especially if you have like a gray wall or something, you can't really see the mark it makes. I actually put a pencil, like a little bit of pencil, or you could do um, some sort of ink, like Sharpie dries too fast. You wouldn't want to use Sharpie, but some sort of ink or a pencil, like I said, graphite, so that I can actually see the mark on the wall. So these things just go into, you just have to make sure it's the right side up, they go in these holes and it slides up into the holder. And then, like I said, you wouldn't have the nail in there yet. And you'd put the mark on the little tip and then you just hold it up to where you want to put it, make it level, and you just push in really hard where this is to make that mark on the wall. And then all you do is you take these back off and you nail them in right where your mark was. So you just want to make sure that you nail it in doo, 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 right where that mark was. And then what's cool is these two are in the wall where they go. Uh, and then all you do is you install, you just hang that canvas right on it and it's easy. And it actually has a little bit of give, not too much, just enough that you just wiggle it on there and just make sure it clicks into place. It will never be off level. It's so amazing. I love this system. It's just a little more awkward to learn how to do it. Um, and sometimes it helps to have a helper. Uh, but usually you can do it yourself if your arms are wide, as wide as a canvas. Um, and then, like I said, that extra tip is just to use like graphite or some sort of, you know, pencil or marker. Uh, that makes it a little easier to see that little spot. So that is the easiest way because then there's no measuring, there's nothing. All you have to do is have a little level. And usually when you order the, the canvas and they come with these, it actually comes with a little level that has double stick tape on it. And you stick that right in the middle of the canvas. Uh, you don't even have to get out your own level. So all you need is a hammer. So easy. I don't love doing that system for these tiny canvases. I think it's a little overkill, but it's again, it's great because it'll never not be level. So it makes it, it's fine. And it just, it just puts two holes in the wall. So those little cleats work great for these small canvases. So anyway, that's hanging hardware for canvases. Um, and like I said, that system, the new system, it's a little uh, awkward the first time you do it because you're like, what is this little piece of plastic? Um, and then when you take it off the wall, you gotta remember to grab the piece of plastic too. Because otherwise you just need a, a nail that it can sit on and all that jazz. So hopefully this helped you figure out how to install your canvas. And if you did uh, enjoy this video, then don't forget to like the video and share it with other people. Um, and subscribe if you want more tutorials like this. All right, thanks for stopping by, bye.